Hi, this is Helena Sheehan for Biolog.ie and I'm going to do a vodcast now on the carbon cycle, which is part of the ecology chapter in the Leaving Cert Biology syllabus. Now nutrient recycling is the way that nutrients are circulated through the ecosystem, for example carbon and nitrogen, and they are exchanged between the living and non-living parts of an ecosystem. So these elements amongst others, are constantly being recycled throughout nature, throughout an ecosystem. And let's look at the carbon cycle in more detail. So the carbon cycle, this is the way in which carbon is taken from and added to the environment by living things. So let's start with the atmosphere. There is carbon dioxide gas in the atmosphere. So we all know this, CO2, amongst other gases, is present in the atmosphere. And CO2, carbon dioxide, contains carbon. Now this carbon can be absorbed by plants. So plants have the ability to absorb it through the stomata. The stomata are the tiny pores on the underside of leaves. So in through these pores comes the carbon dioxide from the atmosphere. And the plants use this carbon dioxide to make glucose in the process of photosynthesis. And glucose is C6H12O6. So the carbon is now there in the glucose. The plant can then be eaten by an animal, and so the carbon ends up in the body of the animal and is used, it's assimilated, to produce structures such as bones, teeth, shells. So the carbon is now in the body of the animal. Also, animals produce carbon dioxide during respiration. So we know that carbon dioxide is a byproduct of respiration. And we breathe it out. So we breathe it back into the atmosphere once again. So we can see already how the carbon dioxide is being recycled. Now when plants and animals decay, or when they partly decay, over very, very long periods of time, fossil fuels are formed. Fossil fuels such as coal and oil. And when we burn these fossil fuels, carbon dioxide is released once again back into the atmosphere. So as you can see, the carbon never disappears. It's used in photosynthesis, and if you want to hear more about photosynthesis, I have a vodcast on biolog.ie. By plants, it's used in photosynthesis. Animals eat the plants. We release carbon dioxide as well during respiration. Fossil fuels are formed from plants and animals, and the burning of fossil fuels releases carbon dioxide once again back into the atmosphere. So that's it. That is the carbon cycle.